The Honourable Member for Cape Breton Centre. Mr. Speaker, my question is for the Minister of Health and Wellness. On Friday, there were so many patients admitted to the emergency room at the Cape Breton Regional Hospital that some adult patients were forced to the pediatric floor. The pediatric floor is supposed to be a, a locked unit, but at the Cape Breton Regional, where dangerous overcrowding is a daily occurrence, the unit is being used as an overflow space. Mr. Speaker, is the minister concerned that overcrowding at the Regional Hospital Emergency Department is compromising care for other patients? The Honourable Minister of Health. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. I thank uh, the member for the question. Uh, indeed, uh, ensuring that Nova Scotians uh, receive uh, the care that they need uh, throughout our health care system, whether that's in primary care, emergency, or acute care uh, services, Mr. Speaker, uh, throughout the entire health care spectrum. Uh, but the fact is, Mr. Speaker, uh, when uh, the needs arise, uh, again, as part of uh, ensuring that uh, the care is uh, provided, uh, those on the front line, the administrators within the facilities, uh, make decisions uh, on the ground operationally to ensure that they use the resources that they have to ensure that the care is available to be provided to Nova Scotians. Uh, I believe that's uh, the scenario and what took place uh, this past weekend that the members described. The Honourable Member for Cape Breton Centre. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. So I guess that would include hallway medicine as well. Mr. Speaker, the, re uh, the ER at the regional is dangerously overcrowded on a regular basis. People seeking care and health care workers alike are at risk. These aren't one-off situations. It's par for the course, and it's happening while more than 50 ER beds sit empty at the Glace Bay, Northside, and New Waterford hospitals. This is where the admitted patients should be, Mr. Speaker, not in pediatrics with children. People deserve to know what's going on and just how serious this situation actually is. Mr. Speaker, will the Minister of Health and Wellness please table a list of dates and times the Cape Breton Regional Hospital, e Hospital Emergency Room reached dangerously overcrowded status on the National Emergency Department overcrowding scale since January 2019? And I know, Mr. Speaker, it's almost been daily. The Honourable Minister of Health. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker, and I, I thank the, the member for her question. Uh, as the member uh, indicated, the challenges uh, with overcrowding and the pressures at the emergency department at Cape Breton Regional Hospital have been ongoing for many years. In fact, Mr. Speaker, as I've explained to the members here previously, when I, one of my first uh, visits to a, a uh, regional hospital as uh, Minister of Health back in 2017 was to the Cape Breton Regional Hospital. One of the main focal points of that visit and the tour of the facility, Mr. Speaker, was the emergency department. And what I was told by those frontline healthcare professionals during that meeting was if we do anything with Cape Breton Regional Hospital, the most important thing was to expand that, hospital, that emergency department, Mr. Speaker. It was not adequate. It was not designed. It is not a, a structure that supports the workflow of modern emergency medicine, and it does not have enough space. And that's why we're committed to doubling the size of that emergency department, Mr. Speaker.